Uh, so beyond insurance and legislation, I mentioned a little bit the hardware technology. Now, definitely a rule of thumb when you're starting your company is if you can either be an app, a web business, or a hardware business, or some sort of service, pick one of those. No reason to try to be everything. It's actually a bad idea. Uh, with Get Around, we sought out to be an app, but with the team we had, we ended up creating a website. <laughs> and we're very mobile first, but we, um, you know, it took us a while to kind of get the whole package. But from day one, we really felt that the hardware piece was crucial. So one big question along the lines of what about insurance is, how do you know this is safe? How do I know how people are driving my cars and where my car is and you know, what if an accident happens? So uh, we basically built this hardware technology called Get Around Connect. And it is pretty simple. It's the size of a smartphone. It gets installed under the car dash. And it works to um, locate the car and also see how the car is being driven. So we're, we very much respect privacy and everyone's um, right to that. However, in our sort of business, we need to, we can actually ensure people's safety and we can ensure that their cars are really safe by uh, the back end knowing how the cars are, where they are. So through that technology, that's what would let uh, a renter pick, find the car. You know, let's say there's a car on the street here. Uh, you'd find the exact location of the car, so it's really easy. It's basically what it does is it turns any regular everyday car into a smart car. And uh, that's actually one of the trends that in inspired us to work on Get Around. You know, the future of self-driving cars and smart cars and safer cars. And, you know, as all of these things come down the line, less, pe well, cars will be smarter and safer, but less people will have to own cars because they'll be a lot more shareable. And so I think where the transportation landscape is today, it's at a really amazing point in time where you have Lyft and Uber providing these great point A to point B rideshare options and then get around providing you know, a real alternative to car ownership. So basically, between the two of those, which have only really become very mainstream in the past like three years, you have no need to necessarily own a car. But if you do want to own one, it, for the first time ever, it's a profitable, it's a, income center for passive income rather than just a you know depreciating asset. Um, so obviously we, we, we knew that. We felt that the safety and convenience feature was really important. It took us a few years to actually develop this tech. Um, and the interesting thing, the reason I was saying that you kind of should pick and focus, because focus is extremely important, um, it's, you need different engineers to do different things, right? Kind of obvious, but mobile developers don't do websites and hardware developers can't build websites and you know hardware needs software and hardware so basically it's just at the end of the day it costs you a lot more um, in terms of how much money you're gonna have to raise all your expenses you're gonna have but we invested early on with the hardware and we felt like it's it's really paid off because no other player has those um, our investors and our partners <coughs> I don't think they'd be interest, they're not interested in the key exchange car sharing model. And we, I'll get into this later, but early on we had one model and then we had to rethink it all from scratch and we switched to a different model. And that's actually what has got us uh, the growth we needed to be uh, successful.